do you know god can give a man speed you know i keep talking about speed one of the worst things that can happen to a man in his life is this mystery of delay this thing called delay is a terrible thing delay happens when the only thing growing in your life is your age no growth in wisdom no growth in influence when you build a house at 65 it's not a testimony i hope you are not offended i'm provoking you because we need to settle some things once and for all lord when will my music ministry rise what is covering that glory that it cannot rise i sing songs and people cannot hear i'm speaking to you by the spirit of faith there is a hear ye him anointing if it's not on you no matter what you have to say man cannot hear you listen household of david hear me hear me things don't just happen because you are equipped to make it happen you can be the greatest preacher you can be the most anointed person but there is a hear ye him anointing if it's not on you you will be surprised that your grace will be despised help that lady i'm seeing an angel pour oil that, that lady you are holding in the name of jesus i shift your family to a new dimension in the spirit new levels there are many people here i'm glad and honored that we have great men of god fathers and great people please hear me if you are in ministry i'm provoking you you have to get angry lord this resultless ministry that's what brings jealousy that's what brings anger lord you called me can there be an investment of the spirit upon my life let my words carry power let my eyes see what men don't see grant unto me grace for signs for wonders Our fathers are men and women who have demonstrated the possibilities of the kingdom. Let me tell you this. When you say it and it happens, the next time you are about to speak, they will listen to you. The Lord sent us tonight to shake up some foundations. There are some of us, you will be the first person to rise and the devil is trying to put you down you are trying to rise you graduated 10 years 15 years but there is no you look at your certificate and it makes you angry because all you have is a paper but there is a grace halis kabata mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man he says the power of the highest the anointing is real I have learned by experience that everything that makes for your lifting is not far from you but it remains closed until the anointing calls it while you are standing before i continue in one minute i'd like you to declare every door that must open this night i insist you must open please pray every door parasco barata someone is praying lord you promised my family that by Jan by february the door would have been open i place a demand on the mercy of god tonight hallelujah listen please listen to me there are some of you who you must trust the grace of god 
to change the spiritual climate around you it doesn't matter what good comes to you something evil must come and overtake it you get a job it becomes the source of your pain you enter a relationship that's the reason why headache comes to you you buy a new car that's why you will have accident no sir atmosphere Of spiritual laws authority against witches and wizards is not the issue of uh -uh. there are kingdom principles and this is what we seek to share greatness does not happen by magic many of you are asking why is the devil disturbing me are you still asking that question when satan followed jesus to the wilderness was patient for one month and ten days until Jesus finished fasting. What makes you think that the devil will just look at you and say, Oh, I understand you are anointed. But it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to look at the devil eyeball to eyeball and say, I am one of those carpenters. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are some of you who don't sleep. When you close your eyes, you are oppressed. I was one of those people. The Bible says, A man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. Tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. I've come to speak to you that there is an authority. There are seven things that redemption brings unto men. All of them must be at work in your life. The Bible says, worthy is the lamb to receive blessings, riches, honor. These are all the things he has received and he has given you. Seven. And it must be at work in your life. Hallelujah. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that have stood against little children? Who are these horns? You are aware of the testimony of the man who came here and who was healed. I think during one of the services or there about he was sleeping in the night somebody appeared to him in a dream remember the story with big syringe injected this man with hiv virus and he woke up physically with the virus that devil is a liar come on now years ago i used to pray for barren people and they were not healed they didn't give birth. It disturbed me. And I went back. I said, Lord, what, what is it? Then the Lord told me, barrenness is not sickness. It's an oppression. It doesn't require healing. There is a spirit. The spirits come and they create what we call fibroid. Fibroid is the baby of these spirits in the womb of people. That's why women have miscarriages in the night. Why don't they have miscarriages in the daytime? But you are carpenters. See, I look forward to testimonies. Where would you, somebody will say, Ah, I heal the sick and I raise the dead. Not Pastor Jakes did this. Uh -uh. You be the carpenters. You are not falling down for nothing. You are not falling down to prove we are anointed. God is in a serious business of working on you. Say I'm one of the carpenters. Say it, I'm one of the carpenters. Yes, financial carpenters. Apostolic carpenters. One of my life's goals 
is to break the back of poverty in the church. It's one of it. I hate the effect of poverty on many families. More ladies have entered prostitution. They didn't come to meet you. How much do you have? Many people have been messed up. There are some of you now. You want to marry. But you cannot get married. Because of the finance. And some of you are hoping that one day. I will get a job of 10,000 and then I will get married. Calculate it by your do you to judge. But when those that God has sent to bless you, they can come in one day. He said your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Do you believe this? You are going to get angry this night. This night we are going to pray. I'm just sharing with you scriptures. The Bible says Daniel in chapter 10. Remember how that Daniel was praying and fasting. Wanting to get an understanding. And the Bible says the moment is there from the very first day. Daniel 10. We start reading from verse 5 down to 11 verse 1. When he was coming, the Bible says the prince of Persia withstood the angel twenty and one days. The prince of Persia withstood him. Hallelujah. The prince of Persia withstood him. Until he kept praying. The moment that embargo was lifted, the angel said, now I am come to give thee understanding. One of the chief princes came to hell. Tonight there is divine backing of the angelic. As we pray, there will be things happening in the realm of the spirit. Yokes of darkness that will be broken. This is pre-miracle service. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain. To break every chain. That's what God will do tonight. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. Sing it one more time. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. I've shared it here. Before we start Koinonia, listen, I realize that there is a secret to increase and growth. And I knew that there were powers over territory that kept ministries down. I've shared this again. From the roundabout of Chicken Republic, I started walking there till aviation, commanding the forces to bow. Commanding principalities and power. And then the city opens up. Before I go for administration in any city, I speak to the principalities. They know my voice. See, let me teach you something. There are principalities. There are powers. There are rulers. There are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. These are different strata of, of darkness. But the Bible says you have been exalted above thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. 
both in this realm, this world, and in the world to come. So you command them to bow. Hallelujah. As our prayer department begins to pray, they speak over the week and an open heavens. And you are there in your house. You don't even know what carries you from your house. You are still complaining and insulting us, yet you are coming because the heavens are open. There's an army rising up. You are that prophetic army. There's an army rising up. I tell you, you are that army. There's an army rising up. Tonight, every one of you is going to represent not just yourself, but even your families. Hear me? Your families have been praying for a savior. Say, we can't die like this. And God said, come for koinonia. You, you, let God find a carpenter. Hallelujah. I just came, today I just came, I've been at home. I needed to go and visit the house. As soon as I stepped in, in the night, that night as I slept, in a dream, the Lord showed me everything that was wrong. And I got up the next day while they were sleeping. Hallelujah. I got anointing oil, poured it inside water, and carried the bucket. I took my bare foot and I was walking around. And I was commanding the forces in that territory to bow. I said, an ambassador is in town. This is what we are teaching you. Hallelujah. An ambassador is in town. I went and looked at my mother's poultry. I said, I command increase. See, if you know the office that you stand in in Christ, you will not take it for granted. The Bible says, as I hear you say before my ears, so will I do. Realize you are not ordinary. You are not the one looking for help. And if there is any need for help, we will grant you the help here by the grace of God and empower you to go back. When you see things that are not working, rejoice because you are here. You carry the backing of heaven. Your job is to legislate. Your job is to legislate. The Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An ambassador. You must realize this. So that you don't just stand at home. Or in your offices. Everything that is going wrong. Start blaming yourself. And say now. Everybody is lamenting. If there is nobody. I am an ambassador. Say it. I am an ambassador. An ambassador. This is why God is bringing you, and you are going to pray. As you pray, first for yourself, and then through the fire of the Holy Ghost, you will dislodge powers over your life, and then you will see testimonies rolling in. Suddenly, you will find out that certain insights you have been struggling to get. Suddenly, there is an open heaven. Your ministry or your fellowship takes another level as if Satan does not exist. Hallelujah. Nobody ever came to Jesus Christ. Hear me. After he went 40 days and 40 nights, Satan came to withstand him because Jesus wanted to come to the people like Paul. But Satan withstood him. When he defeated Satan, suddenly... On the mountain, people started coming. Along the water side, people said, what happened? Powers were dislodged. This night, hear me. You are not praying for healing. You are confronting the gates of darkness. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Rise up on your feet. Listen. 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 I want you to know that heaven is backing you tonight. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say, heaven is backing me. Say, heaven is backing me. Because we are going to pray now. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
I tell you, there will be an eruption of testimonies. After this night's meeting, you will know that the things that have been happening around your life and your family, they are not as ordinary as they look. You are the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, you are the Holy Ghost. Take your place, take your place, take your place, take your place. Take your place. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. number one hallelujah you are going to pray and say in the name of Jesus I confront gates that are stopping the finances the finances grace that are making your family members not to be titers grace that are making them not to be givers lift your voice Financial Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, hold on. This prayer must be serious this night. Please, let's have two of our school of ministry students, two prayer band. Benga, come. Kenny, come. Go on one of the mic. Our school of ministry students, where are you? Are you not? Tolu, come. Quickly, two, three. Well, you, it's okay. You push, go and share the mic. Stand behind. When I say pray, if you are not praying, you will go back to your seat. You are not out for jamboree. We are going to pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Four horns. There are four prayer points we have. The Bible says they were sent to God. This finance thing, you are going to pray it. Lift your voice and pray.
The Bible says, hear me. The Bible says, there is no man, hear me, that will enter into a man's life and, and spoil the good, except he first finds the strong man. He said, and I will give you the keys of it. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of us will be surprised what will happen this night. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare and say, Satan, the Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, right now, I command those forces, bow. Lift your voice and pray. Bow. Bow. Principality, bow. Let's <laughs> go. 
Hallelujah. I used to pray. The Bible says, when you catch a thief, listen please, when a thief steals your property and you catch that thief, he won't bring back what is stole. He said he will restore sevenfold. This is what the Bible says. Sevenfold. You're going to pray. See, listen. The Lord is showing me in I'm in a vision right now. And the Lord is showing me angels holding baskets. Hear me? But the baskets are empty. Listen. Please follow me. There is a prophetic atmosphere here. There are empty baskets. And I'm wondering, and the Lord is ministering to me. He's saying this basket will be full of the blessings that are due God's people. See, see, hear me. He said, and I will restore. Hear me. Canker worms can eat years of people's life. So you are growing older, but nothing is happening. But this night, hey, I don't know about you, but I came for Koinonia. I'm placing a demand. Everything you know, Satan took. I'd like you to call it back and say, Restore. Oh, my God. 
Jesus just ministered something to me. We are still praying on the third point. The Lord said, we should call back opportunities that were either missed or wasted. Are you hearing me? There are some of you, some circles came into your life. Either by carelessness, it passed. Let me tell you, it's only in this realm that you count time. In the realm of the spirit, you can call time back. Hear me? I don't care what opportunity you missed. Restore. Whether it was an opportunity for marriage, Restore. for job, Restore. right now, I want you to call back Restore. that opportunity. It will call back. You are tired. Rest on. Oh, hold on. Rest on. See, hear me. You never know how powerless Satan is until you engage in prayer. Satan will keep opening his eyes until you pray. When you pray, the devil will shrink. And you see how powerless he is. Hallelujah. Now, one last prayer point. We'll add one more. You are going to confront the gates over your family. See, don't let anybody fool you that there are no gates. Let me tell you something. Some of you are the last card that God has to use over your family. If you don't do anything about it, don't think God brought you here just to waste your time. Listen. See me. Listen, listen. If you truly love your family members, Effectual prayer is not just by shouting It is the seriousness Put your heart in this prayer Many of you as you pray You will begin to see vision See, hear me Listen, let me tell you something Listen Listen I, See, we don't kill people in this place But let me tell you God is a God of mercy But he's a God of judgment are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain horns. We don't care who these horns are. Unfortunately, sometimes, as this power is taking some human beings become victims, we don't kill people. But whatever it will take for the glory of your family to rise, you will pray it is that. Lift your voice. I'm <laughs> 
And that night, Jacob wrestled with you. He said, I will not let you go. And the Bible says, when he touched his thigh, he said, what is your name? He said, Jacob, which means a cheat and a supplanter. He said, you are called Israel. For as a prince, you have sought with God and prepared. He says, and the sun rose. And he called that place Peniel. Hallelujah. I've told you as much, hear me. I've told you as much as possible. Please invite your loved ones for the miracle service. You don't hear me talk like this. We are only responding. To the things that the Holy Spirit, if they refuse, no problem. For God will do a work in this place. Hallelujah. We'll take one more prayer point. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for this ministry. Hear me. I'm like a pregnant woman right now because I know when we step into seasons, God has His way. In the last three to four months. That's why you find out that you don't find me outside. I have been praying and preparing. Birthing new and mighty things in the spirit. We are stepping into a dimension. See for when you are faithful with what God gives you. He said he measured a thousand cubits. And it was to the ankle. And when he saw that you were faithful, he measured a thousand cubits. Many of you are already sensing that there are newer levels of grace. You can see that the unction upon the house is not what it used to be. This is ushering season. For when God wants to bless you, he will first increase the anointing, then enlarge your sphere of influence. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all the media. You have taken all the praise. You have made. Hallelujah. If you love this ministry, I'd like you in the next few minutes to pray your life out. Listen. You are going to pray for the ministers. See the way ministers are falling around like leaves. Immorality. All kinds of things. I've said it. Any man can fall from any height. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And if you love us, pray for us. Pray for us. We are going to pray for this ministry. We are going to say, Lord, let a dimension of grace. Hear me. Hear the prayer point. And fire spread from this place and around this nation. God is already doing great things through our teachings. I cannot describe to you what is happening around. The media can tell you best the mighty and terrible things that God is doing. Some of you have gone back and you have become mighty agents of change. Even you, you are surprised at yourself. This is what we are training you to become. And hear me. When you are praying for the ministry, you are praying for yourself. The ministry is not Joshua Selman. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're going to say, Lord, together as a family, nobody will rise and leave another. Are you hearing me? There will not be a few men of God rising, growing in grace. Hear me? There are certain things God has given us as a ministry. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. God has given us influence. God has given us prosperity. We are going to pray that the strongholds that attempt to raise their heads, listen, there will never come a time where we will not have testimonies here. The vision must speak. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to command and say every force that will want to stop the vision from speaking, it will speak in your own life. It will speak. If truly God has called us, something should come upon your life that you will become a peasant of the vision. Lift your voice and pray for him. <laughs> You're going to pray for all the arms of the ministry. Our school of ministry. God is raising mighty, mighty men of power. In all spheres, not just ministry. You're going to pray for our students. You're going to pray for the missions. Hallelujah. You're going to pray for Koinonia. You're going to pray for all of the things that we are doing. You're going to say, Lord, not one sick body will come and not be healed. Not one oppressed person. You're going to pray for grace to stand criticism. Grace to stand persecution. Grace to remain faithful. Grace to remain grateful. Grace to remain humble.
Hallelujah. 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 I want to do something prophetic this night. Hallelujah. One of the things God has given us is the spirit of dominion. You know what dominion is? Dominion means to legislate the counsel of God in any sphere, in Satan notwithstanding. And among the many things that will happen to you tonight, I'm going to pray for you. That everything we stand for, your life must represent it. See, if you do not represent what we stand for, we are fake. It means we are lying. It means we are faking power somewhere. If we are healing the sick, you should heal the sick. You must not be in ministry. If we are humble and you are arrogant, there is something wrong with the transference of spirits. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I want you to believe, my brothers. Believe. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please be careful with the fans. Father, you didn't send us to waste people's time. You didn't send us to be noisemakers. My God, I am praying this night. Every power, every force against any area of your life, this night, if I be sent as a servant of God, if God has ordained us as one of these carpenters, I pray right now, those powers bow. 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 Every power hindering your marriage in this place, hear me, or the marriage of your loved ones, this night, I release you in the name of Jesus. Everything stopping your breakthrough. Breakthrough. As surely as the God of heaven lives. Between this night and next Friday, I command unbelievable breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. I invoke it from the heavens with the backing of Elohim. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Every close heaven in this place, whether it's as a result of non tithing or mistakes or whatever, I don't care what is responsible. Every heaven that is closed in this place, right now, this night, I pray, let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Hallelujah. This month, there are three things I'm speaking into your life now. Listen. Number one is authentic unction. Listen. Number two is favor that you cannot imagine. Listen. Number three is honor. Receive these three four blessings. Receive it. Receive power. Power to heal the sick. Power to cast out devils. Hear me. In the name that is above all names. Whatever bows to us here. Let it bow to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 
whatever answers to us let it answer to you in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah Hallelujah I want to pray for your family Hear me, enough is enough this night Lift your hands Super, super Your families will never believe you Or the God you serve Until there is an evidence I pray my God that evidence of breakthrough that will compel families to know that you are at work let there be a release now let there be a release now let the angel of the Lord go across every state every city I instruct it every city Saria, Abuja, Lagos, Calabar go this day just Angels, in the name of Jesus, go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Give testimonies. 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 So that they will know that your God is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is instructing me to do something dangerous. Please take off your shoes and stand on your feet. This is not diabolic, please. Don't go and start criticizing us and talking nonsense. Listen, something will come upon your life this night. Please listen. Listen. I don't do stupid things just because people are I don't have one. The Bible says, hear me. It says, anywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given to you. I want to pray, hear me. Many of you do not know the mystery of what is happening, but I want you to believe. You will be amazed. Because I see an angel of the Lord, pure red from head to toe. Never seen, listen, I've never seen this angel of the Lord. And this is what he was telling me. That there is an impartation and a transference. Hear me. The influence we enjoy as a ministry is not a mistake. Are you hearing me? God has honored us and taken us to where we cannot merit I want it to come upon your life this night. Lift your hands. Many of you will receive mighty impartations. Hear me. You will see things answering. See, your Christianity will have results. Father, I stand as your servant tonight. Under the instruction that you have given me. My God, there is a spirit upon this ministry. An operation of the Holy Ghost. The operation of dominion. An inexplainable influence. At the count of three. My God, let every feet upon this ground receive that anointing and demonstrate it practically. Thank you, Father. One, two, three. Receive it. Take 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 it. Receive it. The spirit of communion. The action of kingdom influence. Let the crowd open up for you. Let the crowd open up for you. 
Halleluja. One more prayer. God has given us inexplainable kingdom wealth and prosperity. Please lift your hands. You need it. I honestly want to pray from my heart that your financial heavens will be open in a way and I'm going to pray my God and my King I pray in the name that is above all names you have called and you have sent me Lord if I be your servant at the count of three let an unction of inexplainable wealth let it come upon your people at the count of three one two three take it take it take it take it a mantle of prosperity a mantle of wealth a mantle of finance to do mighty things for the kingdom to feed the hungry to clothe the poor to wipe the tears from your family let this anointing bring you ideas let it bring you opportunities Please put back your shoes. Thank you, Jesus. Give him thanks. Yes. I see a mighty open heavens. Mighty, mighty open heavens. Jesus, we give you thanks. Jesus, we give you thanks. You have not called the seed of Jacob to seek you again. Give him thanks. I assure you, as surely as the Lord lives, your testimonies begin right now. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is sick in your body, whether blood disease, fibroid, lump in your breast, in the name that is above all names, we change genotypes now. SS be changed to AA now. AS be changed to AA now. My grain headaches go in the name of Jesus. Demonic manifestations go now in the name of Jesus. Lump in the breast disappear now. Appendicitis go now. Every kind of infirmity, if it has a name, I command it to bow now. You will return with testimonies. HIV be healed now. Every dead virus, every virus that brings death in your body, I curse it, it dies now. Hepatitis A, B, and C go forever now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hear me. I want to give some people an opportunity right now. Hi, beloved. Once again, we bring you the accuracy of God's word, which we've listened to by the mouth of the Lord through his servant, Apostle Joshua Selma. The scripture rightfully speaking in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23, it said, And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. 
the word of the Lord which you just had has a capacity in dwelling and the potent power to bring you great transformation in this journey of faith as you journey with the Lord him alone warding walking by your side like in the days of Noah it is evident that every God's plan that he has stipulated for your life is surely coming to pass don't forget that the word of the Lord has a potent power to make all that you set your hands to do all that he intends for your life to become reality on this journey as you journey with us we like you to stay tuned and keep conversant with the word of the Lord through the mouth of his servant Apostle Jesus Selman on this platform Reflector Hub TV we are mandated to bring you many of such accurate word of the Lord do well to subscribe if you're a new viewer and hit the notification bell. Ensure you share this video to your loved ones, family and friends so as to get other blessed by what God is doing in our lives, in our land, in our territories and all parts of the world. Thank you.